What's good, family? It's Ascended Dreams bursting onto the scene with guidance to infinite love and access to positive energy. How's everybody doing today, man? So if you clicked on this video, yes, you, not him, not her, you, it's highly probable that you are a chosen one who are navigating difficulties within your relationships, man. This may be your family members, your friends, potential romantic partners, co-workers, all bets are off, man. So if that is you, make sure you stick around on this video, guys, because I'm going to be giving you guys some insight on how to deal with these energy vampires, man. How to deal with people who just want to drain your energy and never give anything in return, right? So with that being said, man, let's fast forward right off into the video. So today's title is going to be Chosen Ones Must Trust Their Feeling Over Their Logic and Reasoning, right? So yes, Chosen Ones Must Trust Their Feeling Over Their Logic and Reasoning. And my reason for saying this, guys, is because we as creatures were designed by God as energetic beings, right? So we are energy before we are physical beings, guys. And oftentimes we confuse our own intuition for the thoughts of others, guys. Like we don't know what to do with ourselves. We don't know if we should cut off our parents, cut off our brother, our sister, our cousin, our, our potential girlfriend or potential boyfriend. And I'm here to remind you, man, that we are waking up in a spiritual war, family. So if you are a chosen one, you have to go above and beyond to protect your energy at all times, guys. I cannot make this up. So with that being said, man, trust your feeling and your, your, your intuition over your logic and your reasoning. So pay attention to when you're around certain people, guys. Like you might be around your family members, right? And that might be telling you like, yo, we support you in everything we do, man. We love you unconditionally. But something just doesn't sit right with you when they say it, right? Like, you're kind of questioning yourself, being like, do these people really mean it? Are they just saying it just to say it? Like, what's going on? So I'm going to tell you guys what you can do to be able to discern whether or not people are showing up authentically and being real with you, yo. So listen, if somebody tells you something, gasses you up, compliments you, but it doesn't sit right within your spirit, it's likely, man, that you are going against your own intuition. Because we as creatures are programmed and trained probed to believe everything that people say right like people be filling the airways man like take the internet for example people will believe anything that they see on the internet just because somebody says it right so just because somebody says something doesn't mean that you believe it it doesn't mean that you give your energy to it right so when people are telling you man they love you that they're going to be there for you that they'll never let you down that they'll always show up for you Pay attention to how your body feels. Pay attention to how your body reacts to these things, man. Because you might start to feel like you're getting a headache. You might feel like you're getting a stomach ache. You might even feel actual pain in your body, family. I can't make this up. So if you're feeling this around certain people, man, it's clear that you are around an energy vampire. You are around a toxic being who sees the light that you bring to the table and is attempting to drain your energy in any way that they can, family. So it's time for chosen ones to stand up for themselves, man, above all else. Stand up for yourself above all else because there's real fake supporters out here. What? One more time for the haters in the back. So listen, there's real fake supporters in your life right now, family. And I don't care who it is, man. It's up to us. It's our responsibility as God's children to cut people off who no longer serve us, guys. We got to do it. And I know it's hard, man, because sometimes you might get deep, deeply entrenched with these people like I have over the last few years, man. And it may be hard to cut these people off. Like you may be worn with yourself, man. Like, man, should I cut that person off? Should I come off mom? Should I cut off pops? Should I cut off this girl? Should I cut off this guy? If you're watching this video right now, this is your confirmation that yes, you must cut these people out, man. Because where you're going, these people can't go. You have a different glow about you, man. You have a different aura about you and people can see this, man. They really can. So listen, we are creatures of energy before we are physical beings. So with this knowledge, man, with this remembrance, it's important for us to dive deeper within ourselves, man, and understand why God has put this assignment on us, why God has called us to isolate, why God has called us to elevate. Because God has put a certain specific assignment on you. To somebody I'm connecting with right now, God has put a special assignment on you. And you were birthing something beautiful into this reality. But you got to cut out all the people who are no longer serving you in order to get to where you need to go, family.
I cannot make this up. So listen, man, over the next coming few days, over the next coming few weeks, you may start to notice that you feel weird around certain people. Well, recognize that this is your internal guidance system waking you up to the energies that you are being surrounded by, guys. God made us as creatures of discernment. We all have a level of discernment and it's up to us to be able to see through the fakes, man, when you're a great. You gotta see through the fakes when you're a great, right? So listen, man, this video was not designed to be very long, but I had to get out here and connect with my chosen ones and remind you guys that you must protect yourself at all costs and you must trust your feeling over your logic and your reasoning, guys. Like you might be in a relationship right now. One of you guys are in a relationship right now with somebody who's gassing you up, man, telling them, telling you that they love you every day, pampering you and things of that nature, buttering you up. These people are narcissists, guys. They're not doing it for you. They're doing it for themselves. They get gratification for showing up for you and not showing up for themselves. Little do you know that it's not genuine, guys. <sighs> so anyways, man, to all the chosen ones, all the starseed, all the love beings, it's a war outside, man. It's starting to look like Solomon Gomorrah outside. So it's up to you to protect yourself at all times. <sighs> so with that being said, y'all, if you're new to the channel and you like this message, feel free to like, comment, subscribe to join the tribe. If you're a day one man, I see you. I appreciate you. And just take care of your guys' selves, man. If you don't take anything from this video, just take care of your guys' selves, man. Put your best foot forward in protecting yourself and protecting your energy. Because it's highly probable that you are a sensitive being. And as a sensitive being, we got to go to great lengths to protect ourselves, guys. It's just that simple. So with that being said, man. I'll be back real soon. You already know what it is. It's Ascended Dreams. Signing out. Take care of your guys' selves, man. The word is love.